and he has three queens. Um, and when you're going up against mutas, it's nice to have some sort of unit that can counter them. You know, hydralists are okay, your own mutalists are fine, especially when you're on two base and you can afford it. But uh, what's basically going to happen is these mutant numbers are going to build if you don't have a good counter to it. Maybe some infestors would be nice. Uh, but it looks like these mutas are just going to go around and start picking off overlords. This is always a great way to crawl your way back into game, supply locking the opponent. So now Butternuts has to morph in some more overlords. He's severely supply blocked now. And um, he's going to go in for another attack, but no, it's not really going to work that well. He's going to surround the roaches. It's going to be a decent fight here, but there's just too many roaches. I mean, the numbers the numbers are too great, so roaches do great in little small quarters against Lynx. And it looks like the mutas here are attacking the extractor. Um, this is the one place where there is not a spore crawler, so they can just peck away all they want. A uh, great thing to do is actually to hang out maybe in one sweet spot and uh, put them on hold co uh, hold command. And that way they can attack and uh, do some better harassment. And actually, this number of mutas, how many does he have? It looks like about nine mutalists. Um, well, he might pick off this queen. Yeah, he's definitely going to pick off the queen. You don't want the queen out in the open like that where she can get picked off. He's going to pick off the other spore crawler. Nope. Maybe. Oh, but he's going to lose a lot of mutas in the mix. Meanwhile, we have a couple of roaches back here. And uh, these mutalists are going to have free reign on killing the um, Baneling Nest. A bunch of overlords popping. A slow queen uh, trying to crawl their way up. Be nice to see some creeps right between the bases. And the Baneling Nest will go down and the mutas will retreat. So what we have here in the units tab now, it looks like we have seven mutalists. And one queen versus two queens and 19 zerglings. I would really like to see some hydralists, infestors, mutalists, something along the way. Something that counters mutalists. Or can at least attack mutalists besides, you know, just two queens. And a couple of spores at your base. Um, but let's look at this. More spore crawlers going up. And no structure that can counter mutalus. I mean, the mutalus product uh, count is getting a little bit higher now. He has 10 mutalus. He can start picking off at these overlords. There's no spore to really protect them. And, oh, we can get a couple of drones too. That would be pretty nice. Uh, it looks like he's going to try and pick off this queen. She has no buddy with her, so she's going to get picked off easily. Uh, on near full energy queen. So another loss by Butternuts. And during this time, he's trying to expand. It looks like a Butternut's going to go for some sort of counterattack, try to put the uh, enemy Zerk behind, but again, there's just so many roaches here. I don't understand why he doesn't make a lot of roaches and go and kill him. Because if you made a lot of roaches here, you could take out this roach army, have free reign on this base. And Mutalists aren't that great against roaches, actually. So the Zerglings are going to focus fire the hatchery. Um, they're probably not going to get it, but they are going to take it down to about half health. But, I mean, he's just trading his army, and the other Zerg is retaining his army. So let's look at the production tab. Another five Mutalisk, another Roach on the way. Butternut's finally getting some drones going. And, okay, this is finally good saturation, and what he really needs to do here is throw down some tech. Really start getting the tech going, because he can afford it now. Maybe throw back up that extractor, get more uh, drones on gas. Go for the really uh, fast and nasty tech, but... Looks like these mutalists are going to come in here and harass a little bit. Just poke around because they're mutalists and they're really annoying. And they're also going to pick off this queen. Is the other spore going to finish in time? Yes, it does. The mutalists need to back out ASAP, uh, which they do. Let's look at the numbers here. We have about nine mutalists, but that's way too many spores. He's going to have to back off. All right, so Butternuts can safely macro in his base. He doesn't have to worry about mutalists. He needs to lay down creep tumors and connect these so his queens and... Uh, if he goes for Hydras, they can move around faster. We have a little bit over oversaturated here. Finally getting a, s a layer. It looks like at the 21 minute mark. It's a little bit late, so that's really, really slow tech. He's finally mining some gas. This is really oversaturated. He needs to stop making drones now because he can't afford... He can't. He doesn't need to make anymore. And look at this. He has a Roach Warren, and he's not using it. He could be making lots of Roaches here. And uh, let's see what... Well, buddy here is going to do. He's going to come in, appear in here with a couple of roaches and a couple of mutas, pose them out front, uh, you know, really assert that map control dominance, that alpha male kind of stuff. You know, because he's a big boss here. I mean, he's got a bigger army. And Butternuts has uh, 
four links and a couple of spines and spores. So I mean, really, he could just one A in here and probably win with the roaches. You, you don't need to bring in the mutilus until the spores are down, and then you could just kill him right here. Putting up more spores. Finally, a hydralist done. This is a great idea. It should have happened about ten minutes ago. But it looks like we have a little bit of a poke engagement here. He's going to back away, seeing all those spores and a couple of spines. Okay, I'm going to wait for some more roaches, maybe. And, um... Uh, Alright, just going to camp out here in the middle. So, in the meantime... I will have to commend Butternuts on this. Um, I don't think his strategies... I don't think he really understands the strategic part, but at least he has good uh, transfuse uh, macro. It's a lot better than mine is. He could be, you know, running around with these lings a little bit more, trying to pick off these guys back at home. He's on two base now. This base is about mined out. This base isn't really even started, and uh, other circuses are sprawling roaches in here, and the roach numbers are starting to look scary. So let's look at the units tab. 22 roaches. That's really scary. So now we have a couple of hydralis on the way. Oh gosh, a lot of hydralis. You want to fall back. And now you really want to start that roach production because you need a meat shield for your hydralis. And if you just go hydralis alone, uh, alone versus roach uh, muta, you're going to lose because the roaches are just going to have so much DPS and these muta numbers are just way too high. You need some units kind of in the front to tank some damage. And, um, okay, this isn't a bad idea. But I'm just going to take down these rocks, try to take his third. He can't expand over at its gold. Um,. Not a good rally point here for Zerglings. It looks like he's just going to go try to run by and kill the hatchery. Um, and yeah, and it's actually going to cause the uh, Mario to kind of pull back here and try to defend it. Let's see what Butternuts can get done here. He's got a bunch of Lings running in and a couple of Roaches running back. Maybe he can focus fire down a few drones. He's going to put these uh, Zerglings on hold position. It's not going to do a terrible amount of damage, so maybe he's going to run here try to pick off a few more Lings. Picking off the Queen would be pretty nice. Um, but look at this army, look how scary that looks. That is a massive Zerg army. And meanwhile, Butternuts just has Hydralisks and a couple of Lings. You need roaches like crazy. You need lots and lots of roaches, and you also need to be mining gas here. But anyway, so we have this big-ass Doom push coming out, and Butternuts doesn't really have much to defend this with. We have... Uh, f I mean, 17 Lings and 19 Hydras. That's He could just 1A right here and kill him. He needs roaches to tank damage. Um, but it doesn't look like he has the mineral... He doesn't have the minerals to do it. And it looks like he's going to try and to expand here. I, I think the reason he doesn't have enough minerals is because he spent so much on Hydralis. You don't need that many. You need to make some roaches really bad. You can't just win the game making Hydralis. Um, looks like Zerg is on pretty much... It's about running on empty here. Mulus are going to swerve down here. Nice Overlord placement. Going to spot this expansion trying to go down. And he is going to pick off this third expansion. Butternuts needs to go ahead and cancel that. Save his minerals. That's a precious commodity now. He's about to run out. Uh, last minute cancel. I like that. It's very well done. Kind of stylish. I think he's trying to show off a little bit with his APM. His Gosu APM. Speaking of which. Oh, it's not bad. But uh, let's go back to the production tab. More spores going down. Uh, needlessly. Uh, he's really got to break this container. He's just going to be in so much trouble. Uh, so now he's going to push into this Roach Muta mix with s only Hydralis. And these Hydralis are doing great damage, but they're just too many Roaches and too many Mutas. And the thing is, he didn't... He's asking how. Well, here's how. You didn't whittle down this Roach number. Uh, you allowed it to just get out of control, and now he doesn't even have to make uh, Mutilus, he can just roast you to death. And... He's actually on one and a half base. Let's look at the income tab, 14 to 43. The thing is, you didn't kill, you didn't trade armies with him at all. And now you're gonna try and attack with drones, that's way too late, you're just gonna lose drones, so... Yeah, game's pretty much over now. You can't just win a game making nothing but Hydra Lisk and Zerg versus Zerg. And you can't get like a 19 minute layer or whatever that was. You, you gotta take up a little bit faster. You gotta. It's not really cutting corners. You just need to get that tech out faster. And um, the aggression, um, it didn't really pay for itself. You wasted a lot of zerglings just to kill one expansion. Uh, I think you would have been a lot better making roaches. But now these 
roaches and mews are just going to come in here in 1A and kill everything. And there's not much butternuts can do here. I mean, that's game. So in a nutshell, uh, what have we learned from this? You can't just make pure ling, especially when your opponent goes roaches. You have to make roaches of your own. He had that roach foreign, and he made roaches in the beginning, but he stopped roach production for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, but yeah, lings, just lings suck once those roach numbers get big enough. Uh, you really need roaches of your own. Or you need to throw down a lot of spines so those roaches can't harass you. And especially if your opponent goes nudas, I mean, you gotta put down something a little bit faster that can uh, aggressively cut down the numbers. So anyways, that's the game right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, yep, I will see you guys next time. Peace.